हेलो वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू महोबाद एडुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज सोमलिंगम उपोला स्कूल ऑफ स्टेंटो बायोलॉजिकल साइंस फ्रॉम जेड पी हेच एस पेनकोड मंडल के समुद्रम टूडे वी आर गोइंग डिस्कस वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम दी कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन व्हिच इज पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम इन द कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन नर्वस सिस्टम प्लेस एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल वी नो इट हैज टू इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स दे आर सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम एंड द सेकंड वन इज पेरीफेरल नर्वस सिस्टम except the brain and spinal cord the nervous network inside the body is known as peripheral nervous system except the brain and spinal cord the network of nerve is known as peripheral nervous system mostly the peripheral nervous system is made up of two type of nerves they are cranial nerves and spinal nerves peripheral nervous system is made up of mostly two type of nerves so they are cranial nerves second one is spinal nerves the nerves which arise from the brain are known as cranial nerves nerves which take their origin from the brain are known as cranial nerves which are 12 pairs in number nerves which arise from the brain are known as cranial nerves which are 12 pairs in number the nerves which arise from the spinal cord are known as spinal nerves which are 31 pairs in number nerves which origin from the spinal cord are known as spinal nerves which are 31 pairs in number both the cranial nerves and spinal nerves so collectively known as peripheral nervous system which is made with 43 pairs of nerves in the 43 pairs of nerves 12 pairs are cranial nerves so remaining 31 pairs are spinal nerves in the cranial nerves some are sensory nerves some are motor nerves and few are mixed nerves cranial nerves which are 12 pairs in number they arise from the brain which are in three categories they are sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves sensory nerve means which collects the information from the receptors or sensory organs and transported to brain and spinal cord is known as sensory nerve or afferent nerve or incoming nerve from the sense organs or receptors information is collected and conducted to brain and spinal cord is known as sensory nerve or afferent nerve or incoming nerve the second one is motor nerve from the brain and spinal cord responses are conducted by a nerve to various body organs is known as motor nerve or afferent nerve or outgoing nerve from the spinal cord or brain the responses are conducted to conducted to various body parts of the body are known as motor nerves or afferent nerves or outgoing nerves and the last one is mixed nerve it has both sensory nerve fibers as well as motor nerve fibers so means the nerve itself act as a motor nerve and as well as sensory nerve is known as mixed nerve finally in the body we have three type of nerves they are sensory nerves motor nerves and mixed nerves and the nerves which arise from the spinal cord are known as spinal nerves which are 31 pairs in number all the spinal nerves are mixed nerves means every spinal nerve has both sensory fibers as well as motor fibers when you observe keenly the spinal 
called both sides it has two different roots or horns so every spinal nerve has two roots or two horns one root attaches to back side of the spinal cord means in the dorsal portion the second root attaches to front side of the spinal cord means ventral portion means spinal nerves all are mixed nerves every nerve has both motor nerve fibers as well as sensory nerve fibers mostly the dorsal nerve fiber acts as a sensory nerve the ventral nerve fiber acts as a motor nerve so both cranial and spinal nerves are together known as peripheral nerve system in the body the important function of peripheral nerve system is in the body various voluntary and involuntary actions are controlled by peripheral nerve system the voluntary actions as well as involuntary actions are controlled by peripheral nerve system a part of peripheral nerve system which controls all the involuntary actions of the body it is known as autonomous nerve system a n s i repeat a part of peripheral nerve system which has the ability to control all the involuntary actions of the body is known as autonomous nerve system a n s again which has two different parts they are sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system i repeat both the cranial and spinal nerves are together known as peripheral nerve system which has the ability to control voluntary as well as involuntary actions a part of the peripheral nerve system which has the ability to control the involuntary actions is known as autonomous nerve system again which has two branches they are sympathetic nerve system and uh, parasympathetic nerve system these two are working in the opposite way to maintain the normal rate in the organs i repeat both sympathetic and parasympathetic which are part in the autonomous nerve system these are working in the negative way to maintain the normal rate of actions in the all organs and as well as systems in the body now with a small example we can easily understand the process of autonomous nerve system how it controls the involuntary actions in the body we can understand with a small example for example the pupil of our eye the expansion reduction of the diameter of the pupil of eye is completely controlled by autonomous nerve system i repeat the expansion and reduction of the diameter of the pupil of our eye is completely controlled by autonomous nervous system with the help of two the subsystems are sympathetic as well as parasympathetic systems for example when we enter into a dark room immediately we cannot see anything around us but gradually we are able to see the things which are around us why because when we enter into dark room now the diameter of the pupil of our eye is expanded due to the sympathetic nerve system which allows more amount of light enters into retina i repeat when we enter into dark room immediately we cannot see anything but gradually we are able to see the things because when we enter into dark room due to the a part of autonomous nerve system which is sympathetic nerve system has the ability to increase the diameter of pupil of the eye which allows more amount of light enters into retina that is why we are able to see the things in the dark room after some time and in the same way when you come out from the dark room to bright light region again we have some vision problems but gradually we are able to see all the things because the second one of the autonomous system is parasympathetic nerve system which reduces the diameter of the pupil of our eye to to allow less amount of light enters into retina i repeat when you enter when you enter into bright light region 
immediately the parasympathetic nervous system has the ability to reduce the diameter of the pupil of our eye that is why low amount or less amount of light is allowed to enter into the retina now we are able to see the things again easily means the expansion and reduction of the pupil of eye is completely a involuntary action is controlled by autonomous nervous system in autonomous again we have two branches they are sympathetic and parasympathetic the sympathetic increases the diameter parasympathetic decreases the diameter so these are working in the opposite way to maintain the normal position in all the organs and organ system which is the information about autonomous nervous system so except to brain and spinal cord the entire nervous network in the body is known as peripheral nervous system which is made with mostly two type of nerves they are cranial nerves which are 12 pairs in number spinal nerves which are 31 pairs in number both 43 pairs of nerves are known as peripheral nervous system both voluntary and involuntary actions are controlled by peripheral nervous system a part of the peripheral nervous system which has the ability to control the involuntary actions in the body is known as autonomous nervous system again autonomous nervous system we have two different branches they are sympathetic and parasympathetic they are working in the negative way to maintain the normal metabolisms metabolic rate in the body here is the information about peripheral nervous system in the next video we discuss the reflex arc okay thank you